Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jason, and of course, you're watching Old Car Auto Guy. We're gonna give you an update around the uh, car lot today, but first, I've gotta wash Mama's vehicle, so stay tuned. Back in September, I created a video that was called Our Ceramic Coatings Worth It? I'm going to put that video in this link right here so you guys can go back and watch that after you're done watching this one. And I wanted to give you the three month update on the ceramic coating like I promised. Let's take a look. So I just got done washing the car and as you can see, uh, the water looks like it's beading fairly well. So if I spray the car, you'll see that the water just beads off very quickly. And that tells me that this ceramic coating is still working. So to make a long story short, are ceramic coatings worth it? In my opinion, yes. Why? Because after three months, this car, the water still beads off of it just like new. If you go to use a wax, waxes are only gonna last you maybe you know, about 30 days, maybe 60 days at the most, depending on the quality of the wax. This ceramic coating was done back in September. We're now into December. The water is still beating, like I said, just like a brand new paint job. So we'll do another update in another three months time. That puts us into February and well, we'll see where we are then. So my opinion is once again, ceramic coatings are worth it. It's a little bit of extra work over a wax job, but at the end of the day, it's gonna last a lot longer. So guys, I told you I was going to give you an update on some of the vehicles that we've got in here now, just before Christmas. Uh, we have decided that we wanted to step down the price tag on some of the cars that we're buying. And by that, I mean a little bit more affordable to the average consumer. So. Uh, let's take a look and see what we've got. We picked up this 2009 Chevy Malibu. This is a LT or a 2LT, so it's got the leather, the sunroof, and a four cylinder, got the big wheels. We've also got this uh, 2012 Kia Forte. It's just a base car, an LX manual transmission. Uh, we've had this little Saturn sitting here for a little bit, and this Saturn is a 2007 with only 160,000 kilometers. That's 100,000 miles to you US folk. We've got a 2013 Dodge Avenger. This is a SE model, so it's just base, four cylinder automatic, and it's uh, you know, loaded with all the standard features. And we've got this little rocket ship. This is a 2012 Chev uh, <laughs> This is a 2012 Chrysler 200. And the reason why I call this a rocket ship because in this car is the 3.6 Pentastar V6. These things go like stink. Really nice looking car. And we've also got this 2012 Chevy, Chevy Malibu. This again is a 2LT, no sunroof, but it does have the split leather seating, four cylinder, and uh, the upgraded tires. <laughs> the upgraded wheels and tires. So those are some of the vehicles that we've bought most recently. We will be getting them through the shop and getting everything fixed up and ready for sale very, very quickly. I did want to take a moment to point out uh, this little Toyota Corolla that is beside me. And the reason why I want to do that because this is one of my faithful followers, Tim. Tim bought this car from us a couple of years ago and he called me with a complaint a week or so ago telling me that the car would not start. When he said he thought it was a fuel pump or suspected fuel pump, I questioned that, and the reason why I questioned that simply was this. Toyotas, as a rule, don't have that issue. Um, not like maybe some of the other common uh, you know, domestic vehicles that are out there. So he got his CAA, had it towed in, and we got it in the shop, and we started taking things apart. So in these cars, the fuel pump access is located underneath the uh, rear seat. So we popped that out unplugged it and Tim started testing to see if there was power back there and what we found out is that the uh, fuel pumps do not power up as a rule uh, on a regular basis on these cars until you start to crank on it. 
so when you go to turn the key and prime it, you're not going to hear anything. But we, we couldn't get any power back there, so he asked me if I would come out and give him a hand. So he would hit, sit there with the test light, I went up front and cranked it over, and the car started. It's been starting ever since. I'm not sure what's going on, but I've been driving it back and forth to work all week. Started it several, several times, and I just tried it again, and it started with no issues. So Tim also has been talking about a possible trade-in. He's supposed to be coming in this morning, and uh, I've looked over this car, and I've put a value on it, and we're hoping that maybe when he comes in, he'll take a look at something newer. Maybe we can put a deal together. Tim, thanks for watching, and I hope that when you get in here, you don't mind being on camera so we can show the customers what it's like to go through a trade-in deal. So Tim was in, he's paid his bill, and uh, he has decided at this point that he is going to keep his trusty Corolla, and I kind of don't blame him. When you've got probably one of the most reliable cars on the market, kind of hard to give that up for something different. So anyways, uh, maybe someday that will come into something a little bit different. Maybe Tim, you know where to come. So the only other update that I want to give you is that on the Fiat 500, have a customer who is very hot on the Fiat 500 so uh, we're trying to put that deal together hopefully Monday we can make that happen this customer is dealing with Bill and Bill is the guy to make it happen so if that does happen we may be getting a Mitsubishi Mirage on trade so stay tuned for that guys don't forget that t-shirt sales and hoodie sales are still available in the first link in the description box below and uh, we're getting pretty close to a deadline to have those shipped out before Christmas if you wanted one. Contest is still on. 1,000 subscribers by January 31st, 2019. If we get there, I'm giving away $1,000 cold hard cash. Also, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror, guys. I love you. God bless. We will see you in the next upload.